Dick, hi, talk to me about a Robbie Grinder. Well, basically, uh, Robbie um, is a family-owned business in Italy, and uh, we do a range of machines, manual, so one of the only Euro European manufacturers of manual machines still, in the U uh, which we can supply in the UK. We do PLC controlled machines, which is uh, this format, and we do full CNC machines. Can you tell us a little bit about the difference between the PLC and the full CNC control? Um, basically, um, the PLC control that we offer um, is a Siemens control with Siemens drives, has the same technology as a, uh, as a full CNC machine. The biggest difference is that um, the machine itself will only um, operate in single axis. So you have a situation where you can do parallel diameters. If you're looking for contouring or producing a taper within the program, you must go for a CNC machine. Okay, interesting. So three types, manual, PLC, and then CNC. In terms of Robbie's sales, would you sell more CNC or more PLC? I think the sales um, are 50-50 really between CNC machines and PLC machines. Um, we set, we're selling a lot less manual machines now because um, the skills required to operate a grinding machine are dying within the industry. A lot of the uh, operators are more mature in age and therefore um, the transfer of technology and the use of the technology to give the accuracy on the machine is very, very important to customers. And the machine itself, I mean, okay, well, actually, let's come back to the control. Do they have conversational elements on the control? Or it's is it all conversational, which uh, obviously I can run through with you. It's a very simple, I'm a salesman and I can operate the, the PLC um, machine, whereas the CNC, although it's conversational, is more complex. And the machines themselves, this is a small version, you, you, they, they go much bigger? This is the smallest machine we do, um, although the centre height on this machine is um, slightly bigger, um, but we start off at 180 centre height, uh, we go right up to 595 centre height, um, and up to 6 metres between centres on our standard range. And we also do some bespoke um, machines as well. Uh, in the UK, we've just uh, recently supplied a one and a half metre swing um, by 2.5 metres between centres for doing landing gear. Uh, so the application's an aerospace application? Very much so, and uh, we, we've done really well in, with grinding carbide uh, and also ceramics. So the brand, Robbie, I mean, where does that sit in terms of a premium manufacturer? Are the machines made in Europe? All the machines are manufactured in northern Italy, uh, very close to Verona, a place called Colonia Veneta, um, and the quality of the machines is extremely high. The accuracy that we're obtaining on some of the installations are phenomenal, provided we've got a controlled environment. We have uh, one customer who manufactures bearings for a number of our competitors, um, based in Essex, who's holding sub-micron tolerances on a Robbie machine. So there are many, many manufacturers of grinding machines. Why would you buy a Robbie? We're very competitive on price. That's the first thing, which is important to a lot of customers. Um, the quality of the machine is of a high standard. And uh, the accuracy, um, which is paramount, for any grinding application is also there on the machine. So we are, we are, we're, we're in a, gl a growing market base because the name Robbie is not synonymous with everybody, but uh, it's a growing name within the industry. Our biggest, um, biggest issue is that most of our customers that have taken machines from us, and it's a growing number of um, customers, they don't want PR on their machines because the app is very application led and what the technology that they've got and the applications they want to keep to themselves so to support i mean there's an argument these days that some people say that you can do or you can produce very good finishes on turning centers that can sometimes maybe match a grind i mean what, what do you think about that i think um, if you're honest with uh, uh, honest with yourself uh, um, we sell turning machines that do hard metal turning as well but uh, when you're trying to get below um, probably four, four microns, it's impossible um, unless you've got a very, very, very expensive machine. There are people that quote these, um, these accuracies, um, but to be fair, um, I'd, I'd like to see it in a production environment. There is still a major 
major growing place and the marketplace is expanding now really for grinding machines because with the type of work we're getting in the UK, very small batch, high quality component parts and research and development. You know, we're now, we're now dealing with some unusual materials and some very, very hard materials and that's where grinding's still got a place. So if you to buy this machine in the UK, it's through yourselves RK International, comes with full support, warranty? The application support is very, very important on their grinding machine. Um, unlike it, 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 the CNC machine and uh, milling machines, uh, you know, machining centres, uh, the grinding application support is extremely important. The machines are very, very stable, so once we've gone through that uh, first six to eight weeks, there's a real calm down on the, on the machine. There's no, there's no, the, the machine doesn't move around very fast, so the, the reliability is there, but there is a massive, uh, it's still a black art with grinding. If you speak to any of our competitors, I'm sure they would agree that there's still some elements. You know, minor changes with coolant, coolant temperature, grinding wheels, um, uh, the materials and speeds and feeds, there's still a lot of variance that go to make a, a precise component. So for a successful grinding machine, it's not just a machine out of the box, it's a machine, it's an applications engineer, it's, it's the whole process. Yeah, it's very, very, very important and also we've got massive support from our principals, which is a family owned business. We're a family business ourselves. We've now sent four engineers to the factory for training and we're on a big learning curve, but every application is different and you know you only learn by application it's an application led um, sale really so for all grinding applications talk to RK yes please <laughs>